So hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rachid Bhausa and I'm here to guide you to the next few months of preparation for NEET SS 2024, which is supposed to be conducted on 29th and 30th March 2025. No matter if you have started now or you have been preparing for the last few months, I'm here to give you tips and I'll be talking not just for the students who have been preparing for the last few months, I'll also be talking for the students who will be starting now for NEET SS or who are also going to be appearing for the MS or DNB general surgery exam. So the first and foremost thing is to build momentum and if you have been reading, you stay and maintain that momentum and you need to be focused. So the first thing is that the students who are preparing for their MS or DNB general surgery exam, you will be reading theory. Remember that NEET SS is not entirely different because the course is same the exam pattern changes that is you appear for theory and practical and you just are going to appear for an mcq based exam otherwise the course stays the same next what is important for everybody that is for preparing for the last few months or starting now or going to be starting along with the theory preparation is to make a schedule you divide your time properly and then you study so here Sushita LGS will help you in the theory planner and the MCQ solving planner which we have created wherein we have incorporated the modules which we have divided our content on and also that modules have been subdivided according to the priority list that is priority 1 to 6 for the MCQs and priority 1 to 3 for the theory reading because we feel that the more specific and detailed schedule you make the more better your preparation will be. So the first and foremost thing which I tell in all my videos is that divide your study schedule in rule by the rule of three. Divide your monthly schedule in three divided parts. Divide that one part into more three divided parts. That is if you are dividing 10 day period into three, three day each, keep a buffer day. Now that three day period divide into per day and that one day divide into three schedules of the day and that also subdivide like that. So that if you subdivide like that, you have a chance to tick off that you have completed this and that gives you the momentum because the positive reinforcement that yes, I'm completing the speed is fine will give you ex the extra momentum to study the whole day and the remaining part. Another important thing is that many of the teachers will tell you to read certain subjects in a certain duration or giving certain period of time for a certain duration. Now see, even in our planner, we have given a average duration for the theory reading and for the MCQs and accordingly the planner will help you to create a schedule. So the theory reading we have divided according to the number of pages which can be read in an hour. So you can realize that, but understand that you need to give yourself buffer period because you may be faster or you may be slower according to the average speed, but that does not mean that you are not doing properly. If your speed is helping you remember things, then that is fine. So you need to tailor fit your schedule according to your pattern of reading, but you can incorporate our planner to get an idea about how you can plan things. So that is one about the schedule. Now we come next to the specific resources what you need to utilize. So first and foremost, I tell in all my videos is that the textbooks, they form the base. You can add on Sushita LGS Notes Powerhouse to aid in that theory reading and you can add on the MCQ bank to solve the MCQs. Now in the textbook, I'll tell you that read daily and love completely. You cannot go away preparing for MS, DNB general surgery exam or for NEET SS without reading daily and love. Daily and love needs to be read from the first page to the last page. And second thing, important thing to understand is that the Sabiston, the second textbook, Sabiston, according to my experience, because I prepared for NEET SS, I read for my general surgery and what I felt was that Sabiston is an extension of Bailey and if you go to the third textbook of shorts, is an, is an extension of both Bailey and Sabiston. So the first step for everybody would be to start out with Bailey, complete that, then move on to Sabiston and then move on to shorts if you have time. So what you need to do is first cover Bailey, everything is important, 
except for a few specific topics like orthopedics, eye, ear, that you may avoid. Other than that, you need to read everything. Then as you move on to Sabiston, you need to do a selective read. Now there is our notes power on will be useful to you because we have concise the Sabiston and it will give you an idea about what is important and what is now. Now I'll say that you have to cover Sabiston also in detail. But many of you will question me that why Sabiston is so much important because what I feel is that if you want to achieve anything, you need to target the highest. So if you want to get a good seat through NEET SS, your target should be that you need to score rank one. Now for scoring rank one, you need to be different from everybody else. You just cannot just keep on doing important things. You need to be different and you need to be unique. And to be unique and to get the highest peak of success, you need to be apart from everybody. You need to cover everything. You need to be prepared for the worst of the worst things. So read daily, move on to Sabiston, do a selective reading. You will be, you can take guidance from the video where I made about how to read Sabiston. It will give an idea and also about how you can utilize our notes in that. Next coming to shorts. Now shorts specifically, in our sorts, synopsis, lectures and the notes, what you have done is that if you hear the lecture of shorts on shock, what will you see is that we have covered daily, we have covered Sabiston and we have added the point which are extra in shorts because at the end of the day, the shock does not change. The authors change and the concepts will be slightly different. So what will you do? If you listen to the shock video, from our short synopsis, you will get coverage of daily, Sabiston and short. So that will give you a thorough coverage. And then you move on to the MCQ solving. So now if we consider the priority list, which you will see in our study planner, we have subdivided the theory portion into three priorities. The priority one will be your basic principles, your specialty topics, that is neurosurgery, pediatric surgery, cardiothoracic surgery, and endocrine surgery. Now, why I have given this as a priority one? Because these topics are the ones which you will not be reading or you'll be reading more of GIT and GUT. So that's the reason I've given this as priority one. So what will happen is that if you do this as priority one, your majority of the subjects will be covered. And then as you move on to the priority two and three, the priority two includes oncology, breast, the vascular surgery and the abdominal wall bariatric surgery portion of the GIT. And as you move on to priority three, that is only going to be GIT and GOT. So if you start with priority one and move on to priority two and lastly priority three, what will happen is that by the time you come to GIT, GOT or majority of the course is finished and next you have to just study the topics which you are dealing with in daily practice and also you have been dealing from your MS or also the majority of the course for our MS exams is also based on that topics. So that is how you should start from priority one and move on to priority three and put that into the schedule and you can utilize a study planner for that. Next about the MCQ practice solve. So the MCQ practice is the building block for the need assess preparation. So I advise my students to practice target minimum of 50 to maximum of 150 day uh, 150 mcqs per day and for that also you can utilize our mcq bank and utilize both the test mode and practice mode according to your comfort level and utilize our planner to schedule the mcq solving as per your choice now another important thing which i keep telling in all my videos is that if you're reading for say let's say git today don't solve the MCQs immediately today. For example, if you're reading pancreas today, don't solve the MCQs today. Solve the MCQs of that topic after five to seven days. That is one thing. Second thing, try to solve in test mode. And then after solving the test, go on to the solutions. Because what will happen is that in the test mode, you're challenging your memory, which you have read one week back. You're solving, you're applying your knowledge. And then you are understanding where you are making mistakes because the mistakes in MCQs are not just that you don't know. Sometimes you get confused. Sometimes you feel that uh, the option you are thinking about is wrong. You need to change the answer. That is where your mistakes will happen. And majority of the mistakes occur because you're unsure, because you have not revised properly and you're getting confused in the options. 
So that is why it will help you to understand where you are making the mistakes and then when you solve the solutions, you will get an idea about how and what in revision it's needed to be done by you. So that is my advice to solve the MCQs in test mode. Utilize our MCQ bank. We have more than 8000 questions covering all the modules which are divided into priority 1 to 6 and you can add on the daily service and master class test and discussions where we have covered all the topics in a very challenging difficult questions 30 questions for each for a say upper luminal lower luminal hpb all the subtopics are divided and 30 questions are asked one for daily one for sabiston and then we are discussing them to give you my tips so that is about the mcq solving which i would like to emph uh, lay emphasis on that do not skip on mcq practice next okay. coming to the most important portion that is of mock exams so why I lay emphasis on mock exams is that the mock exams give you an idea, a thorough idea about where you are making mistakes, what topics you need to stay, uh, keep on revising and the habit of sitting for two and a half hours and giving that exam. Because remember the NEET SS exam is not just answering the question, there is also a lot of psychological involved psychological stress involved sitting in front of the screen for two and a half hours that mental fatigue thinking about the questions the environment everything plays a role on the day of exam so utilize the decathlon mock exam series we are going to give 15 exams utilize them we are going to do mostly two to three exams every sunday on every month starting from 20th october utilize that the first exam on 20th October will give you an idea that is okay, you, are, you have read this topic but you are making mistakes, this year topic you have not read. So that will give you an idea about where you are, where you stand. Don't think about the rank now or the marks. By the time February, March come, that is a time when you should really concentrate on what you are scoring, where you are making. Uh, you should target making less mistakes and that is how you can utilize the mock exams. So do not skip out on giving mock exams as well. So that is about the mock exam, which I like to emphasize that you need to give mock exams regularly from now, because that will be the most important portion as an assessment about where you stand for the preparation. So if you talk about specific subjects, that is neurosurgery, plastic surgery, pediatric surgery. Now the specific topics or the important topics I have already understood in the precision point pointers. If you go to our website, and the blog section, we have already mentioned the precision pointers or the important topics to be read from daily Sabiston from all the topics. But I like to stay and given uh, I like to emphasize here that do not just read the important portions. Try to cover everything because you need to score the highest. That is what I advise students that you need to target the highest so that even if you miss by one step, you will read the second highest. But if you try to target a mediocre rank you may go below that so don't that do like that always target the highest so to sum up what i like to tell you is that you need to make a proper schedule for the people who are only reading for theory exam add on mcq solving from now on do not wait till your theory exams to be over to start preparation for the people who are reading for the last few months keep the momentum going Keep solving regular MCQs, utilize our notes, utilize our videos, you can utilize them at any point, utilize our planner to make a proper schedule, read accordingly, solve MCQs every day, minimum 100 to 150. The most important thing is to solve in test mode, solve minimum 5 to 7 days after you have read that topic and add on the mock exams to give a thorough preparation because this few last 5 months you ha will have to give 300%. So that when the result comes, you can enjoy that success. That is what I'll tell you. And all the best. If you have any doubts, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.